Hi, my name is Bill Forsyth, and I'm Southwire's product manager for electrical equipment. So today we're going to tell you how to make your best bends with the new Southwire MSB2000 multi-shoe bender. So to start off, we've got the bender itself, and then we've got shoes and roller assemblies. The MSB2000 comes with two bending shoes. One shoe is dedicated exclusively to bending EMT conduit. The other shoe is used for bending both IMC and rigid conduit. Notice the IMC shoe has a black hook and the EMT shoe has a gray hook. And also if you just look in the center of the shoe, it identifies the type of conduit that the shoe bends. This one says for bending EMT conduit. Okay. Now, as far as the rollers, there are three roller assemblies. One roller is for EMT conduit, one roller is for IMC conduit, and the real one that's easy to identify is the one for rigid conduit, because it doesn't have the pressure pedal mechanism. It's easier to install the roller assembly first, and then the shoe. Install the correct roller assembly on the right side of the bender, align the hinges, and slide the hinge pin through the hinges in the roller in the bender. Insert the cotter pin into the end of the hinge pin. Now, if you're bending half inch, three quarter, one inch, or inch and a quarter EMT conduit, the small rollers are placed in the up position, like this. If you're bending inch and a half or two inch conduit, the small rollers are not used and they can be left in the folded down position. The roller assembly has pressure rollers and a pressure pedal, which must be used when you're bending inch and a half and two inch EMT conduit. If you're not bending inch and a half or two inch EMT conduit, the pressure pedal is not used. Let's install the bending shoe. To install the bending shoe, align the center of the shoe with the shaft on the bender and slide it back. Align the four pins on the back of the shoe with the four holes in the bender sprocket. When the holes are aligned, just push the shoe back until it stops. Now, if you are bending inch and a half or two inch EMT conduit, you'll be using the pressure pedal, and now is a good time to preset the height of the pressure rollers. Your MSB2000 was shipped from the factory with an innovative pressure roller gauge tool, only available from Southwire. We've provided this tool to reduce the guesswork when it comes to adjusting the pressure roller height. To use the gauge, select the type and the size of conduit you plan to bend. Notice how the gauge is divided into three sections or heights. Today we're bending two inch EMT, so I'll use the two inch EMT segment. Then simply loosen the set screws on the top of the roller arm, place the gauge between the roller arm and the foot of the bender, and then turn the hex bolts on the bottom of the roller arm until they just come in contact with the foot of the bender. And then retighten the set screws. Your pressure rollers have been set at the correct height for two inch EMT conduit. That was easy. Notice that the bending shoe is separated into two halves. One half of the shoe is used for bending half inch, three quarter, one and one and a quarter inch conduit. The other half of the shoe is used for bending inch and a half and two inch conduit. You can also see markings that are cast into the center of the shoe indicating the conduit size for each half. Today we're going to be bending two inch EMT conduit so I'll be using this half of the bending shoe. Now using the pendant press forward to rotate the shoe clockwise. Rotate the shoe until the inch and a half and the two inch half of the shoe is facing down and the arrow pointer is approximately five degrees before the zero degree starting point. Then facing the front of the bender, load the conduit into the right side of the bender. Guide the conduit into the bender until it rests in the hook. And you may need to rotate the shoe a little bit so the conduit lies in the hook. Now press forward on the pendant and rotate the shoe until the bottom of the hook comes into contact with the bottom of the conduit. The conduit should be held firm, but you should still be able to turn the conduit with your hand. This is the zero degree starting position. 
and the arrow on the protractor scale should be at approximately the zero degree position. You can adjust the arrow if you want it to exactly point to zero. Next, place your foot on the pressure pedal to bring both rollers into contact with the conduit. Start the bend by pushing down on the pressure pedal with moderate pressure. Press and hold the forward button on the pendant while maintaining pressure on the pedal. As the bend begins, the pressure rollers will rotate and roll in to the fully engaged position. The pressure pedal should come into contact with the stop. And once the pressure rollers are fully engaged, you can take your foot from the pressure pedal and continue with the bend. Release the forward button to stop bending. Now remove and inspect your bend. Now depending on the brand of conduit that you're using, you may see some undesirable defects in the bend. If you see kinks in the conduit, like this, that means that the pressure roller squeeze was not set high enough. To correct it, you need to increase the pressure or the squeeze on the conduit. And to make that adjustment, you need to raise the height of the pressure rollers. So, simply loosen the set screws on the top of the roller arm, turn the hex bolts a half a turn clockwise, that'll raise the rollers, and then retighten the set screws and try another bend. Now, if you feel a pronounced ridge on the side of the conduit or it appears slightly crushed, and then the pressure roller squeeze was set too high, to correct it, you need to decrease the pressure or the squeeze on the conduit. And to make that adjustment, you need to lower the height of the pressure rollers. So, simply loosen the set screws on the top of the roller arm, turn the hex bolts a half turn counterclockwise, and then retighten the set screws and try another bend. I sure hope today's video has been helpful to you. I hope it's made things a little bit clearer how to get great bends out of Southwire's new MSB2000. And again, if you need more information on Southwire's MSB2000, just visit southwire.com. Thanks for watching.